Hey folks, and welcome back to the Kentucky Hot Wheels video series. In this video, we're going to do a little modification to the Gladiator. Uh, this is another project that I've been wanting to do for a while and just never got around to it. So now it's time to, to get to it. Uh, we're going to do the fender chop, front and rear, um, but we're going to be using the OEM fenders. We're just eliminating all the plastic trim and everything around the fenders and the wheel liners. Uh, I always thought there was too much bulk right there anyhow. I mean, I like the look, but it's just too much. And after doing some research, um, I actually posted on some Jeep forums and on... on um, after posting on Facebook and some Jeep forums, to see what other people were doing and what they recommended. Um, when everything was said, it seems like the majority of the people prefer to do the slim chop using the Quake LED lights. Um, it just makes better sense and it really looks nice. The price of some of the other aftermarket fenders that I've looked at are just crazy, especially for something that's probably gonna rust in a month or two um, some of the plastic ones or polyurethane ones did look better but most of them had this janky led light that i just didn't like you know i'm not knocking what anybody else did i just didn't like the look um, so i've decided again to, to use the oem fenders and uh, do the, um, um, the slim chop using the quake uh, slim chop kit um, if you go this route and order these lights <clears throat> make sure you order the correct one for your uh, gladiator they differ from the Rubicon and Mojave and the Overland and the like sport gladiators it's a different part number there's a slight difference with the bracket I think. Um, people seem to like these. They got decent reviews and I got positive feedback. The biggest problem most people had was just the price. They're very expensive. Um, so I've gone ahead and ordered them. They should be here midweek or so and um, we'll, we'll, we'll do a box opening and, and an unboxing and, and see what they're like. Um, since I'm removing the OEM fender liners, I'll have to, uh, to replace that with something else as well. Some people suggested not, not putting anything back in there. Um, I don't like that idea. I think you need some protection from water and mud and, and dirt, especially if you do some off-roading, even moderate off-roading. You need some protection from the elements. So I decided to go with the Wolfstorm fender liners, front and rear. Um, again, mixed reviews on these. Everybody had different opinions. Um, I guess the biggest issue with these is that they're steel and not aluminum. Um, so I don't know how they'll hold up as far as you know rust issues. They are powder coated and painted, so we'll we'll see. Um, but for the price, to me, it was a no-brainer. Again, compared to the price of other options that are out there, it's just crazy prices for cheap metal pieces especially aluminum that don't really do anything but sit there but the, the prices are astronomical so again I've already ordered these hopefully they'll be here midweek as well and we can do this project next weekend weather permitting this is not going to be a how-to video there are already so many of them out there and some of them are really good I probably watched 20 of them just to see what I was getting myself into. Um, I come across this YouTube channel here. The username is Dos Lamas, I think it is, Dos Lamas. And he's doing exactly, he did exactly what I'm going to do using the same parts, even the, the fender liners. He used the Wolf Storm fender liners as well. Very good videos, very informative, step by step. Um, so it gave me some gave me some ideas 
So again, I'm not going to do a how-to step-by-step. I'm just going to highlight, you know, each each step of the way and problems you might run into just to give you some ideas uh, of what you might be getting into. Um, but I'll try to keep it as informative as I can. Again, these should be here hopefully midweek next week and we can get started on this Saturday or Sunday. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. You know, some people seem to do it pretty quick. Some people struggle with it a little bit. So we'll, we'll see. Um, I know most people don't take their tires off and wheels off to do this. I'm going to just to have more room. I'm not a young buck anymore. I'm not skinny anymore. So I need all the room I can get to get in there and do what I need to do. That's really the only diff different thing I see myself doing than what most other people are doing. So anyhow, hopefully there'll be the parts will be here this week and, and we can do this. And until then, take care and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, it's a few days later, uh, four days to be exact, and we got some toys in. I'm assuming these are the Quake um, DRL lights, LED lights, and these are the fender liners that I ordered. Um, I'm not anticipating any issues or any problems getting the fenders off, but I have heard of people um, tearing up the clips that actually hold the fender on so I did go ahead and order a bag of spares. I think this bag was like eight bucks. I'll leave links to everything in the description below. Um, so just in case we have these as backup. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing here. Um, I'm not starting this project yet. It'll probably be another week or so. I, I might get to it this weekend, I, I don't know. So let's take a look and see what we've got and do a little quick critique. This is what we've got. Wow, these are a lot heavier than what I thought they would be. Much heavier. Nice, very nice. These look very, very well built. I'm actually impressed. No need to open the other. Comes with instructions. Looks pretty straightforward. I've, I've watched so many videos on this, it can't be that hard. So, so those look pretty good. Now let's take a quick look and see what we've got here for the liners. Okay. I usually judge a lot of these products by the way they're packaged 
And as you can see, these are packaged really well. I'm impressed. So I'm assuming this is all the hardware we need. Take a quick look at at least one of these. Let's see. I probably won't open all of them up just yet. Don't have a need to. But these are gonna be the front. So these are going to be the looks like the driver's side front just like that and again these are steel these aren't aluminum and they got some weight to them nothing nothing crazy but again just first glance quality looks top-notch no complaints and again packaging is, is really good no complaints there as well so i'm assuming these are the rear ones here and that's the other front all right so there you go we got a project coming up um hopefully everything will go good i hope so it looks like we've got everything we need um again a lot of it depends on things i may have planned this weekend but I really, I'm really anxious to, to do it and, and see how hard it is and, and see what the end results are going to be. But uh, man, these lights, I, I really am, really am impressed. These are going to look really great. All right, so that's going to be it for now. Um, like I said, hopefully maybe this weekend we can get started on this and uh, as I mentioned before, this isn't going to be a how-to, an in-depth how-to. I'm just going to highlight, you know, certain steps along the way and problems I might run into using these products here. Again, this is the Quake uh, LED DRL lights, and these liners come from um, um, Wolfstorm. I was going to go ahead and, and unload these boxes so I can get rid of them. Um, one thing I had read about these, uh, the Wolfstorm um, liners, is some people said they didn't get instructions with them. Mine did include a, a nice little pamphlet here with some in-depth instructions. So this will definitely help a lot. So don't let that be a deterrent if you're considering buying these. They do come with instructions. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, like I said, hopefully we can get on this maybe this weekend so until then you guys take care and i'll talk to you later so it is the next day and i think tomorrow i'm going to go ahead and install the lights and do the chop on the fenders uh, but i thought i'd go ahead and come out this evening and get the fender liners put together per the instructions again it came with instructions for the front and the rear uh, fender liners so everything is very well labeled and documented so it shouldn't be too hard um i don't really guess you need to watch me put them together so i'll bring you back when i'm done and you can see see the the completed project here so i'll, I'll see you in just a minute okay as you can see hour and a half later with a few interruptions the liners are put together and ready to install um no issues everything fit really well uh, again the instructions are very complete pictures i mean a five-year-old could probably do this um, plenty of hardware they actually include extra um, so no no issue there as well um, again this probably would have taken about 30 minutes i guess um, but i was interrupted a couple of times so again, no big deal. One thing you'll take heed of if you go with these liners on the rear ones, make sure these side pieces go behind 
the middle piece before you bolt them up. It shows that in the instructions, but it's a little vague, and you might, you know, accidentally put them in the front, but they actually go behind this middle piece here before you bolt them up. So anyhow, that's one last thing I will have to do tomorrow. Again, I hope to get up fairly early and, and get started on it. It's supposed to be a nice day. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully everything will go as smooth as the install of the liners. So I'm gonna wrap it up for tonight and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hey folks, so it is the next day and I'm ready to get started on this project. Uh, one change of plan already. I'd mentioned before, I was gonna take the tires and wheels off. Um, first little snag, the company I had installed the, the tires and wheels. I've got these lugs way too tight. I don't have anything to take them off, take it, to take them off without damaging them. So I'll address that another day with the company who installed them. But there's plenty of room under the wheel well to work in, so it shouldn't be no big deal. Um, went ahead and jacked the front up a little bit to give me a little bit more clearance. Uh, so that's the plan. Uh, we'll try it this way. It may add a little bit to the, the process to, uh, to work around, but we'll do what we can. So what I'm gonna start with, of course, if you watched any of the other videos from other folks, I'm gonna take out these rivets here. Then we've got some 10 millimeter bolts holding the fender liner in and a few more Christmas tree rivets inside here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, so it's about 25 minutes later. And as you can see, the front fender is already off. Um, it really wasn't that hard, but I'll, I'll tell you the first thing you wanna do before you, you do this mod or any other mod that requires you to remove the fender. Buy you some clips. Uh, even as easy as I was and, and, and took my time to get the clips that hold the fender to the body, I broke four. They break really easy. And so I kind of anticipated that uh, from watching other videos. So I went ahead and luckily I'd already ordered some ahead of time. Like I said, I think these were like eight or nine bucks on Amazon and they are an OEM uh, Dodge Chrysler part. So not hard to look up. Um, <clears throat> one other thing, um, once you get your clips loose, before you get your clips loose, I'm sorry, go ahead and undo your connection for your, your lights. Um, basically all you're gonna do is pull back on this red tab and down on the black piece there and it'll pull right out. Um, but you know, it was not that hard, not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, so again, no matter how much you take your time and how careful you are, more than likely you're gonna break some of these retainers right here. So have you some spares on hand just in case. So I guess next I'll go ahead and prep the fender. Uh, I got my little workstation set up here and remove the inner liner. Um, one thing too, on these rivets on the front here or on the trim, um, I just drilled them out since we're not gonna be using them anymore. I used, uh, what size did I use here? I used a 3 16th inch bit and it actually pulled them right out. No, no problem whatsoever. Um, let's see, I can show you what it looks like when you pull it out. So you drill it in and just pull it right out with the bit. So a little tip there. All right, so I'll get my table prepped, get the fender up there, start working on getting the liner out. Again, I'm not gonna go into great detail. I'll bring you back when I'm done. It's already been done before by others, but I'll let you know of any maybe tips or tricks that I learned along the way. Once I get the liner out, I'll go ahead and get the, uh, the liner installed because I know I got to do, I got to do a little modification here, I think, with the plug for the lights. So let me get this liner out. I'll bring you back, tell you how long it took, any issues I ran into, and we'll continue on this project. I'll see you in a bit. 
Okay, so we're about an hour later and I've got everything done with the fender. Um, again, it wasn't too hard. It, I guess the best thing to do is just kind of take your time. Watch some of the videos floating around out there about how to do this. It's really not hard, um, but you don't have to be in there. If you're in a rush, don't even begin this project. You have to take your time, find all the bolts and, and the screws that hold everything together and carefully take it apart. Um, so again, it took about an hour to get everything done. Uh, even replacing the tabs that I broke, getting the fender off. As far as the tabs that you have to cut off, uh, once you've got the liner out, I chose not to use a utility knife. I just used some good side cutters and cut them out and then went back with some sandpaper and sanded them flat. It only took a few minutes, no big deal there. So again, it wasn't, wasn't horribly hard or anything. Just you have to take your time and take it apart methodically, that, that's it. Um, so I guess next I'll go ahead and get the Quake LED light mounted and the fender liner, see what kind of issues I run into there. And uh, then I'll get back with you and, and let you know how that goes. Not anticipating too many issues. I know I think I have to trim this nub off here with these particular liners. Um, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But here's the innards of the, the fender. Um, I don't think I'll be keeping it or reusing it or sell it for anything. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. So for now, it's going to sit right there. So we're getting there. Uh, again, I'm probably an hour and a half into the whole project so far. And we'll see how long it takes to finish this. And I'll get back with you in just, uh, just a little bit. Okay, just one more update before I install the, the light. The fender liner is in. Um, just a, a tip if you're using these, they, it fits great, no issue there. These two screws down here can be a, a little trying. I spent probably 45 minutes getting, getting them to line up and in. If there's a little longer, it uh, may help a little bit, but you have to get them perfect to get them to, to slide into the receiver part on the back. But they fit great. Um, very pleased with that. Of course, the wires ran for the, the light. I did have to undo the little Christmas tree clip that held the plug in. So it just sits in behind there now. No big deal there. But uh, as far as fitment, I love them. They weren't hard to install, it's just, you know, a little patience and, and getting the screw holes lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, the fender back on, get the light mounted, and we'll see what it looks like when I'm finished. Okay, so this side is completely done. The light's installed, tested, no issues there. A um, Couple changes, um, they want you to actually drill the fender here and insert this little screw. I want a much cleaner look. Um, I've seen where some people actually used uh, epoxy um, or something like that. Um, and I was actually going to go, go that route and, uh, and uh, use the epoxy, but I decided to try something different. I'm gonna use flex glue. That way, if I do have to take it apart later, I should be able to without any issue. Um, I'm sure this will take uh, a little bit to set up. I've already put some in there and, and the fender just sits right on that tab on the light. So it's, it's actually got pressure on it right now. But um, again, this side's done. Liner's in, everything's happy, everything's working. Uh, so I'm in this a total of, oh, about two hours and 45 minutes for this side here. So now it's time to move over to this side. Hopefully uh, picked up a couple tricks to make this side go a little bit faster. And uh, I'll share everything I can with you all if I run into any more issues. Uh, it still would be an easier to have the, the tire and wheel off, of course. Of course, that ain't, ain't gonna happen, so.
Okay, enough talking. Um, I'll go ahead and do this side and get back with you all in hopefully less than three hours. All right, so it's been about another hour or so and I got the, the driver's side done. Um, of course, once you do it once, the second part always goes a little bit quicker. So this one didn't take nearly as long. Um, I didn't end up breaking a couple of these retainers. I'm gonna tell you, if, if you have to remove your fender for anything, you might as well go ahead and buy a bag of these as cheap as they are, because you're gonna break some getting them off, no matter how careful you are. But overall with this part, still got the rear to do. I don't know if I'm gonna do it this evening or wait and maybe do it tomorrow. I'm already five hours or so into this project. We're taking little breaks and a few interruptions, but um, um, overall, it, it's not that hard. You know, you don't have to be in no rush. Take your time and um, everything seems to fit really well. I'm happy with the fender liners for sure. I'm happy with the lights. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I opted not to use the screw, the bolt in um, on the side of the fender on either side. I'm gonna try the flex glue and see how it does. Um, if it don't work, you know, I'm not opposed to putting the screw in there. I just think it looks better without it, but uh, we'll see how this stuff does. One other thing I'm going to do here in just a bit um, is I'm actually going to spray a little um, rubberized undercoating on the clips just to kind of hide them a little bit up toward the top of the fender and down toward the back um, just to you know make it look a little bit better but that part's done if i decide to do the back today i'll bring you back in a little bit if not i'll see you all or talk to you all in the morning but yeah i like it gives it a whole different look all right, so I decided to go ahead and, and do the rear ones this evening. Um, got plenty of time, so I might as well just go ahead and get it done. Uh, one particular thing <clears throat> with the Wolfstorm liners that I'd read is that uh, part of your, uh, what is it, your EVAP canister has to be moved for these to work. That was in one of the videos I, I watched. So I don't know if they've redesigned these since then or not, but obviously you don't have to. Uh, but the rear fender removal is the same as the front. Um, I ended up breaking a couple clips, getting it out. But for the most part, they come out fairly easy. So you've got the three uh, bolts down here, which you wanna keep when you take them out of your original liner, because you're gonna reuse them on this. And then you had a couple Christmas tree rivets at, in the top. Um, right there, there, bottom here and top here. And uh, that's all it took to get that out. Come out fairly easy. But again, save your, your bolts here because you're going to reuse them on these. Now the key here is getting these riv nuts lined up with the original mounting positions because you're going to put bolts where the the clips used to be or currently are on the fender you're going to remove those and use bolts instead one here one here one here one here one here and one here so anyhow i've about got this ready to tighten up and put in position uh when i'm ready uh, to get the fender on right after i get the fender on i'll bring you back and tell you how hard it was but so far pretty easy i'll talk to you in a bit okay so the driver's side rear is complete this one was you know like i said pretty easy um, no big surprises uh, the back was actually a lot easier than the front the rear was a lot easier than the front so um no big tips for this one. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said, you want to install these three bolts. Hope you can see it's a little dark. These three bolts for your fender liner first, and then install the the uh, screws for the nut certs that are connected to the, the liner. 
And then what I did on the fender is I just cut away what used to hold the retainers. Again, I know it's probably hard to see, but um, that way it'll, you know, straddle the, the screws that's holding in the liner. And that still gives you plenty of clips to hold the fender on. It ain't going nowhere. It'll take a lot to, to knock it off, so. Again, this one was a lot easier than, than the front. So if you're gonna do this, definitely do the front first to get it out of the way. Um, still got the passenger side to do. It's still fairly early in the day. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out. And then when I'm finished, we'll come back and look at the completed project. I'll talk to you all in a bit. All right, so we're gonna call this one complete. This was a uh, most of the day job, but it's done. I really, really am pleased with the results. Um, I still gotta do the undercoating that I was talking about earlier. Um, I'm just waiting for it to arrive, but I'm very, very happy with the, the wheel liners. I mean, they fit like a glove, easy to install, no issues whatsoever. I really hope they hold up, you know, to the everyday use that it's gonna get. Um, Again, you know, if, if you're not mechanically inclined, you might not want to do this kind of thing. If you're comfortable using tools and a little creative, then, you know, I think just about anybody could do this. It, it, it wasn't that it was hard. It was time consuming. But again, I took my time and was in no rush whatsoever. But I really love the way the fenders look in the front now. Um, I can't lift this Jeep because my wife has back problems and has trouble getting in and out of it, even the way it is now. It does have a one and three quarter inch leveling kit in the front, but that's it. It's not being lifted at all. Um, I would like to, but that, that's just not gonna happen. So this gives it just a little bit more of an aggressive look without lifting it. And um, again, I'm real, real happy with it. And it looks like there's gonna be enough daylight left to, give her a good wash she needs it um so anyhow i hope you enjoyed the video and maybe found some some tips that may be left out of other other uh, uh videos out there of people doing this you know again i didn't want to do a step-by-step -step because it's already done um, um as i mentioned at the beginning of the video i believe the youtube channel's name is das lamas he does a really good step-by-step -step, good video and a really good how-to. A couple of things may have changed since he did the video. Uh, like I said, I know he had to relocate or move his EVAP canister when he installed these fender liners. And I don't know if they've redesigned them a little bit or what, but there was plenty of room in mine, so I didn't have to. Um, but again, 10 out of 10 with the fender liners. I'm, I'm very happy with them. 10 out of 10 with the quake lights. Um, I'm very happy with those two. I really hope that uh, my idea with the uh, the uh, flex, uh, flex glue works. I don't have to put the bolt in there, but if I have to, I will, no big deal. So we're gonna end this one. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, found some good tips. Uh, now it's time to find something else to get into. So until next time, you guys take care and I'll talk to you later.